I'm Dr. AJ Chua, and welcome to Adjusting Your Heart. We all need three kinds of friends in our lives to widen our horizon, to enrich our lives, and to leave a legacy. So find out why we need mentors, peers, and mentees. And among these three, you should develop more friendship with peers, as these are the people near your age, share the same interests, and even challenges in life. The first type of friends that we all need to have are mentors. These are people who are willing to share their expertise, their knowledge, their experience to help us navigate through life's challenges, model godly values to us. So that means these people are usually older, more mature, and more experienced. And in this type of relationship, they are more of the givers and we are more of the recipients because they give more of their time, their effort, their money, and of course, I hope that we would learn to give back to them so that we can show our gratitude to them. In Proverbs 27, 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Although the first three mentors I'm going to mention have already passed away, yet I will never forget them for what they did for me. The first would be Miss Besseline. You can see from this picture that she's still very young. She was a math teacher at Chiang Kai-shek College and she was the one who invited me to go to YGC, Youth Gospel Center. And because of her, I came to know Jesus and every year she would give me a copy of our daily bread. And not only that, she would give me extra copies that I can give to my classmates. The second person I'd like to mention would be her sister, Pastor Lily Lim or AKA Sister Nene or Nene Tsi. Nene Tsi, without me asking, would look for sponsors so that I can join camps for free. She would greet me on my birthday every year without fail. When she was younger, she would write notes, but eventually because uh, she had rheumatoid arthritis, she find it more difficult to write, yet she would call. Even though I've already transferred workplaces, she would still call me. She's also very hardworking. I can attest to that because she was my boss at YGC. Even though eventually she had to be in a wheelchair, she would still come to the office, she would do a lot of things. And both Miss Bessie Lim and Pastor Lily Lim are the daughters of Mr. and Mrs. Lim Gyo Kun. As you can see from this picture, they are very well known, especially among the Chinese circle, but also because uh, Mr. Lim is very popular among the Boy Scouts. In this picture, this was taken during his 90th birthday and their 65th anniversary. And in another picture, you could see them with their youngest daughter, Mrs. Alice Ngo, together with her husband, Mr. Wilson Ngo. Incidentally, they also just celebrated their 35th wedding anniversary. The third mentor I'd like to mention would be Pastor Nancy Yao. From this picture, you could see that she's the only rose among the thorns. I'd like to thank my friend, Manny Koro, for these pictures. At that time, I didn't have any picture with Pastor Nancy. Manny is also in the picture. He's the cute teen with the eyeglasses. Another is Pastor Jane Chong, who is now residing in the U.S. She is one of those who inspired me that one can be happy even though one is single. As you can see from the picture, she's very pretty, she's very intelligent, and she loves God very much. Another of that picture you could see would be Pastor Jane together with Benita Tsi. And then on the other uh, most left would be my boss, Pastor Lily Lim. At that time, she still can stand and walk. And then there's a group picture. You could see, yeah, of course, Pastor Jane's also there. But I'd like to point out are my two other mentors. The one in the green jacket will be Reverend Wilson Gonzalez. And the one besides Manny Coro would be Reverend Isaiah Tingson. Or in the Philippines, we call him uh, Reverend Rolando Gan. These two, I really admire them, I, especially uh, like uh, Reverend Rolando Gan. I like to hear him preach. So whenever he comes back to the Philippines, because he's now in New York, uh, I would go and listen. So you, you can see this picture taken during Jerry Zim's anniversary. I took this picture together with Poshan and Pastor Marian Ferrer. This next picture was taken during YGC's 60th anniversary. Several of my mentors are in this picture, but I'd like to point out especially to Pastor Elisa Tan, the lady wearing orange. I'd like to thank her for taking time to have Bible study with me when I was still young. Another would be Reverend Danny Reyes. He's the one kneeling on the utmost right. 
He led Bible study for the YGC staff every week. And during summer camps, he's also our speaker. And I also remember that he was the one who challenged and in a way exhorted me that I should obey God and I should be willing to obey God whether God wants me to be single or married. So Hans has to thank Reverend Danny Reyes because after those counseling sessions, I eventually opened up to the idea of that God might want me to get married. Another would be Reverend Stephen Kwan. He's the one wearing coat and tie in that picture. And in another picture, you could see that he's standing beside me together with my other UECP colleagues. I'm always blessed by his messages and especially by his sense of humor. And last but not the least would be Reverend Benjamin Young. From him, I learned what it is to be patient. And of course, I admire him for being a very loving husband to Pastor Rebecca Young and also a very supportive father to Gideon, Hannah, and Abigail. The second type of friends that we need to have would be peers. These are people near our age, and of course, that means maybe more the same interests. So it's a give and take relationship. I'd like to especially mention my BSOP friends in this episode. BSOP is where I took up my master's. I stayed at a dorm, and I only go home during the weekends, and that's for three years. That's why we also created a bond. In the first picture, you could see my classmates, the late Reverend Peter C., Pastor Arsenio Chan, Greg Terrence, Reverend Willie Cheng, Desmond, me, Marilyn, Dr. Joseph Shao, Dr. Rosa Shao, Juliet, Janie, and Jen. In another picture, only all of the five girls. But among these girls, I'm closest to Juliet and Jennifer. That's because we've been friends since teenagers. We served together at YGC, and you can see from this picture, this was taken during our first year at PSOP. And then the next one would be our grad pick. And throughout the years, we also kept in touch. And Jennifer right now is serving with her husband, Reverend Unhok Wee at UEC San Pablo, while Jules, now Dr. Juliet, teaches with her husband, Dr. Samson Wee Tanlet at BSOP. And of course, another couple close to our hearts would be Dr. Adrian and Pastor Ana Munoz, both YGC friends and of course, my former colleagues. And now uh, we're also compare comare because Ashley is my goddaughter. From them, I learned what it means to be hospitable. Oftentimes, they would be treating friends, they would entertain missionaries at their home, they would lend stuff freely to everyone, whether it's a camera, it's a car, they would just lend it. And at one time, I asked Adrian about it, and he said, that's because he believed that he's just a steward, a manager of what God has entrusted to him. Everything belongs to God. So he's willing to share all of those. And of course, as their friends, I would also treat them out and also give gifts to the kids. So one time when we went to Singapore in 2012, I messaged him because he and Anna offered that if we ever had the chance to go to Singapore where they are now serving, we can always stay in their house. And so we messaged and said, can, can I stay in your house for around three nights? He said, oh, I'm sorry, but there will be people staying in our house at the time. Oh, if you want, I'll just connect you with Elder Stanley C, also from UECP. Oh, I said, no, no, that's embarrassing. I'm not that close to him. Of course I know him, but we're not that close. But he said, no, no, that's okay. To make the long story short, Adrian fetched us from the airport and then he dropped us off at Elder Stanley and Sister Anne's house. So the first night, Hans and I stayed in a very nice room. So I said, wow, their guest room is so nice. Their condo unit is so big. They even have a bathroom for us. And it's so embarrassing to find out that it's their master bedroom. So Elder Stanley and Sister Anne, they stayed with the kids so that it will be more convenient for me and Hans. But we really treasure those times together because every night when we come home, we get to talk with them and we found out that, wow, they're also very active in church, uh, they're active in the prison ministry. But from them, they inspired me to do likewise. So when Nympha's missionary friend needed a place to stay, we said, oh, it's okay for Cheryl Granol to stay with us. The third type of friends we need to have are mentees. These are people that we can share our life with, okay, our achievement, our failure, so that they won't commit the same blunders. And these are people who will be younger, they would need our guidance, and we can challenge them to make this world a better place. Like we could share values like loving God, their loving their families, being generous, helping those in need. And of course, in this type of relationship, you would have to expect that you're the one giving more. For this episode, I'd like to focus on my former mentees. 
For the present mentees, that's for another episode. So just like look at this lovely gift. These are from my TBSG mentees. I've guided them for 10 years while I was at UECP and they gave me this as a birthday gift and I really treasure it. For 10 years, we celebrate birthdays together. When a member's loved one got sick, we visited, we prayed, we raised funds among ourselves. So we had a lot of wonderful memories together. And of course, we've also went to outreaches like one, look at these pictures, we went to Pangasinan. And on the way, since two of our workers, their families live there, we also visited. We visited Kuya Reyes and Kuya Mario's families. And one Christmas, we divided ourselves into sm smaller groups and then we visited several of the workers. And in this picture, you can see that uh, we also visited Kuya Renato because I wanted them to love different kinds of people and even the people who are serving us. Another of my two former mentees would be Johanna and Susanna. I've mentored them at YGC and we've kept in touch throughout the years. So you can see from this picture, from being single, okay, eventually they get married and they have kids. Like Johanna Layug David is married to Sherwin. They have two kids. Susanna is married to John Michael Lau and they have also two kids. Johanna owns her own fruit business while Susanna is a branch manager at Pru Life. Another bigger group that I mentored at YGC is called the Sunshine. Sunshine is spelled as S-O-N because it's about Jesus. So it's composed of Tina, Michelle, Juvie, Kathy, Annalyn, Lily, Jenilyn, Cindy, Dixie, Sonia, Christine, and Charlene. Many of them have already gotten married and have kids, but I'm very happy that most are still active in church. And Michelle is in fact a pastor at CBCP together with her husband, Pastor Genesis Tan. And I'd like to thank Tina Ong, who organizes most of our reunions. So you can see these beautiful pictures throughout the years. We're, we're able to keep in touch. And the last one would be at a Zoom meeting because we can't meet up in person. We had that last January. And Christine and Charlene have migrated to the States. And I had the chance to stay with them for a few nights in three different locations because one with Christine, one with Charlene, and one with Farah, their youngest sister, together with her husband, Arthur. So thank you for accommodating me at that time. Christine even took me to Legoland, San Diego Zoo. I attended their church together with her husband, Dexter Law. And now they're they blessed with two kids. Dr. Charlene, a dentist, she and Adam, her husband, took me to a concert at the park. Wow, that's the first time ever. Look at these pictures. First time ever I attended a concert at the park. And they're also blessed with two kids. So when they, their family visits the Philippines, uh, yeah, as you can see from this picture taken at UECP, the entire Kek family, including their mom, Auntie Christina, another sister would be Sister Cherilyn and her husband, Stephen. Now I'd like to especially mention some of my mentees at Chiang Kai-shek College. They were my former students. Like the first one will be Dr. Jason Chu. Wow, he's now a doctor. Before, he was my psychology student. And now he had a doctorate in business ad and is now teaching at a university in Korea. Before, he taught also at UST. And I'm happy that every time he visits the Philippines, he would uh, visit me at the office or we would go to Starbucks and just catch up on the latest news. And next would be some of my Chiang Kai-shek students who blessed me especially when they found out that Hans has COVID. They sent something over, so I'd like to especially thank them. Like the first one will be in this picture will be Atorni Tin Chilin. He's married with two kids. And another will be Paul Ryan Ang, also married. I don't know how many kids, but in this picture, at least one kid. And the last will be Janet, Janet Ko, and she's now a Chinese teacher at St. Jude Catholic School. So thank you. It's truly been a blessing that for more than 20 years, you guys didn't forget me. And the things that you sent me warm my heart. It's not the things, but it's the thought. So I hope that all of you will be able to find a few mentors, have a lot of peers, and guide some mentees in return. Now I'd like to thank some people who have encouraged us like Evelyn C. Tay, Pastor Jin Ting, Jeff Le, Jermaine Cromwolf II, Life's Creativity, Lisa Castro, Lisa Tan, Lorna Flor, Mercy Sia, Michelle Chua, 
Nancy Daya, Pastor Nathaniel Mosi, Pastor Nathaniel Ong, Neil Racaza, Norma Batbatan, Philip Ngo, Shailer Lao, Mihani Ui, Nancy Ang Huang, Melody Katipon, Louie Matheson Wong, Jonette Corvido, Wilson Ui. If you're blessed by this video, please like, subscribe, and share it to others. Enjoy your weekend!